All right, today we're out here working on another window and saw this window was installed in the garage. It's not the greatest trim job in the world or you know inside drywall job in the world, but um, we can't leave it like this. The window installers left it like this and you know it just doesn't look neat and clean. So we're gonna try to fix this up. We're gonna be showing you how we can go about making this look a lot better and then repainting it. So I'm just gonna be spackling. I'm gonna be doing some filling with some Crawford's vinyl spackling. Then we're gonna be doing some caulking with some Tower AU1 uh, white uh, caulking or sealant right here. And it's a good construction sealant that'll bond to our vinyl window and then bond to the drywall or wood you know, if we needed to. But the first step, in this whole process is kind of like cleaning this mess up and trying to um, make it look better with some spackling because we've got to fill in these large holes. I'm just gonna be cutting out you know, some of this stuff that would actually stick out you know of the spackling we'll get that so it's flattened out just trim some of this stuff back here and clean all this up there's some big you know chunks here and there i'm sticking out We've got some bent metal work right here we'll try to um re-drill that cut that back up in there it's like some a lot of this stuff is not the greatest um, in the world, but the installer has kind of left it like this. But you know, this is a garage, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to um, look like the inside of the house, but we're gonna try to make it look the best we can, you know, with minimal effort. So get all this loose stuff, you know, off here, out of here, flatten anything out that needs to be flat. We got paper. You know, sticking out here. We're gonna just cut all this stuff off once again before we start spackling because we don't want any of this stuff sticking out of our spackle. And then I'll begin spackling with my Crawford spackle. So now we got everything, you know, cut out. I'm gonna start spackling, you know, this stuff. Your initial coat with that Crawford spackle right here. I'm just gonna be using my two edge flex knife, two inch flex knife to begin applying the spackle. enough coat that has something to sand. Looks like that filled it in pretty good. I got a big gap behind this window, but our tower um, sealants AU1 will actually fill that gap. It'll fill the gap with a two inch crack. I do also have a wide level five putty knife, but I need to level out something wide like this. I do like um, Crawford's interior extra vinyl spackle over a lightweight spackle on something like this. It's got more body, it's denser. It's a little bit denser, a little bit harder. Just gotta fill in right here a little bit here. This is a water-based product too, so it cleans up with water easily. So if I need to flatten out a large area, I can just use my level five knife, four inch knife here. All right, so I've got my initially, initial spackling done. We we'll let this dry for several hours before we begin sanding it Apply another coat if we need to apply another coat, and um, 
and then doing the caulking process. All right, now we've let our um, Crawford spackle dry. Now I'm just gonna sand this, and if I need to spackle it again, I'll spackle it again. But before doing any sanding, I'm just going to take some frog tape blue, put some frog tape blue on the vinyl window so my sander don't hit, hit and scratch the new window. It's a brand new window, so we don't wanna scratch this window. So I'm just gonna put some tape right on this window here. Frog tape will release easily too. So, and the frog tape blue is nice and thick and it'll just keep me from scratching this vinyl. So I'm just using my Ekosan 3x4 sander, just perfect for sanding this. It's dustless sander. Not bad. I'm just gonna hit it with uh, these edges right here with a sponge sanding pad. Now, I'm just using an Echo Diamond sanding sponge here to hit these edges. Kind of weird. This metal's kind of sticking out. This Echo Diamond sanding sponge won't tear. It's kind of a rubber rubber sponge instead of a paper sponge. Let's see if they're getting in these corners too. Gonna scam a little bit more spackle on there. My final coat of spackle, and then we'll cock this window. We got this final coat of spackling on here now, and we'll begin caulking this window after we sand, sand our final coat here. So my final sand, final skim coat is done. Now I'm gonna pull my tape and I'm gonna begin caulking this window now. I'm gonna be using our tower A1 seal it to seal this window. Could just be using my sponge caulking method. Just wanna make sure to dust this window off. Make sure it's all nice and clean. So now I'm just gonna be using some, my AU1, gonna be using white, because our window is white. Gonna be using a caulking sponge. I want to get this thing nice and wet. I want to get my hand nice and wet. And we'll begin. We got kind of a large gap on one side. This product is great for filling large gaps. It's not large enough to put backer rod in it, but it's definitely large enough that you want a, a sealant like AU1 that can fill it and span the gap. Got to pump that caulking in there till you see it fill the whole gap. If it doesn't fill the whole gap, it's what we call it, you'll skim caulk it and it'll eventually crack. 
Don't put too much pressure. If you put too much pressure, you're going to get too much caulking on the vinyl. A gap this big is definitely too big for most caulking or sealants out there. So, you know, most of them would eventually crack because of the movement, expansion and contraction. So you definitely want to make sure you use a high quality sealant designed to fill windows like this, fill gaps this big. You can see I just keep wiping my finger. I want to keep, gotta keep your finger wet, keep it clean. Like you don't want to do is get get too far ahead of yourself especially if it's warm because the caulking will start to dry start to coagulate and you won't be able to work it very well i just got the top of this window to do and that's it and then we gotta let the caulking dry and we'll need to paint it I'll just clean my sponge. We're gonna let that dry and then paint our window and hang our blind. Okay, now we got this thing all caulked, um, sanded, spackled. Now I'm going to uh, paint this window and I'm actually gonna be using a Graco handheld. It's a, um, I've had one for over five years. I'm not a big fan of the sprayer, but this is an actual opportunity for me to try it, test it. Um, there's not very many times to use a sprayer like that. But this might be a time that would work versus hand brushing it. So I'm gonna give it a try. So we're gonna mask this window off with paper and plastic and then spray it. <laughs> 